Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's answer the question, do you fix every single bug you come across? All right, so today I'm coming to you once again from the beautiful town of Goring, which is about a half an hour away from the office. Every time I'm in town, I have to stop and do the video here because the scenery is just so beautiful. Right, so today I want to answer a question that came in last week on episode 454, which was called Bugs Happen. And in that video, I was talking about how I released an, a client application and had gone through all testing. All, all users had tested it, all the testers had tested it, but we had this one little mistake go through and we just fixed it right away, right? And thank you everyone for not giving me a hard time about that. You know, sometimes things do go through, you go through all the testing and things do go out into production and it's, you know, it's never a nice thing, right? But there was a really good question on that video from Mr. Neptune who said, have you fixed every single bug you've came across, right? Have I fixed every single bug I've come across in our code? Yeah, sure, sure, why not? As far as you guys know, yes, <laughs> right? Okay, I have to say, no, I haven't, right? Sometimes, if you have a bug in your app or in a client's application, sometimes it's really easy to fix. Sometimes it happens, say, it happens every single time. It's totally 100% reproducible, right? You say, somebody says, oh, this thing's not working. If you click on here, you go, oh yeah, oh, cool. Thank you for pointing that out. And then you go through and do it. If you didn't catch it yourself, most of the time you catch it yourself, but sometimes you do. You catch it yourself, and sometimes it's a bit more rare. Sometimes it might happen, like say, one in every five occurrences. So you, you test it a few times, maybe you spend an hour testing. Okay, oh, oh, it's happening there. What happened there? What was different about that time than the other time? I'm gonna put some, stat, some log traces in there. I'm gonna have Logcat going. I'm gonna have all these logs going everywhere. I'm gonna check the analytics if it's already in production. That's fine, but every so often, you'll get a bug that is super rare. Like it might happen one in every thousand occurrences and you just can't seem to reproduce it and you can't pinpoint what's happening. You run a few theories, so you're working off a theory thinking it could be this, but you know, how do we test that? We'll, we'll change this here. Oh, it's not that, it's not that. And sometimes you can spend days trying to track down one of these tricky little bugs and the decision has to be made are we gonna release with this in the application? Because we can't seem to figure out what it is and every time we run it, our sample size is just too small, we can't figure out what it is. And sometimes, for my own applications, I will make a decision, okay, this, this is no longer a bug, this is a known issue, which means I'm gonna release it anyway, and if people come back with feedback, I'll say, that's something that's happening, we're investigating it, because we can't, we can only hold off go live for so long. We cannot not go live because of this one issue that affects, you know, that happens one out of every thousand occurrences of, of running the application. So that could happen. If it's a client, it, it, it's up to the client. We'll, we'll say, hey, we, we're trying to track this thing down. We could be another week on this, trying to figure out this one little bug. And this is, this is where scope creep comes, right? You've, you've quoted for everything and you have this one little thing. And sometimes it's in the application. Sometimes it could be on the API that you don't control. You just, like when you don't know, you don't know. And you're making guesses on what it is, but you're trying to track it down. Most of the time, like 99% of the time, you can figure out what it is. But oh, those one, that 1% 1 of the time, you do. You have to decide: Are we going to go live, or are we just going to? Are we going to spend the next however long figuring this out? Because you can always do an update, right? You can always do an update. So yes, Mr. Neptune, I'm afraid to say I have not fixed every single bug, bug I've come across. But we do. Every one we can reproduce. Every one that we can that we can reproduce and test, we do. Other times we make assumptions based on it, which never really shows, right? And sometimes the problem with this, when you can't reproduce the bug, is Sometimes you don't know if it's environmental. Does it only happen on one kind of a device? And, we, and you're just asking questions from a third party. Uh, you know, did you, was internet available? Did, did it have, run out of memory? Did it run out of disk space? You know, tell me something about the environment. And a lot of times you can't get that information, so you're making guesses based on that. And sometimes you'll have something which I call a phantom bug, which is somebody says they've, there's a bug in this application, it's not loading the data or whatever, and you start asking questions, and one of the big ones is, do you have an internet connection, right? Do you have an internet connection? Because it says you don't have an internet connection. Are you sure you have an internet connection? And they'll say, yes. And you know what? You say, can you please send me a screenshot? And they'll say, I told you what the error says. And I said, yeah, but 
just humor me and send me a screenshot and they'll send you a screenshot and you can just circle on there the bar is at the top there's no internet on this phone right you you are completely out of range of everything this kind of stuff happens sometimes and those kind of things could waste a lot of time because you're constantly looking for it so my question to you guys is, am I a bad person for thinking like this, right? My question to you guys, have you ever released a bug or a, it, the reason I call it a known issue is because it's something that we know about, we know that it exists, we haven't quite found the solution for it, but we're putting it out there and we, it's a known issue. If you put it out to a larger sample size, like your app users, you'll start to see the patterns, you'll start to see it in analytics, you'll say it's only affecting this version of Android or it's only affecting this, it's only you know, these, this manufacturer or whatever and then you can start to really drill down but sometimes you just can't, can't find it. So have you ever released an app or, or do you fix every single bug you've come across and that is it for today. I will talk to you guys again tomorrow.